Hi, I just thought I would do a little video to let you know about all the things that you can possibly expect um, if you buy an upgraded kitchen from Symphony Kitchens down here on the Castle Gardens estate which is being built by Persimmon in Canvas Lang. Um, we have bought our kitchen which I'll show you in a moment um, just in probably June, July of August last year we moved into our new premises on the 18th of December 2020 um, and since then we always knew there was going to be snagging lists. We had over 150 snags in our property ranging from electrical to every set of windows in the property needing to get replaced because of scratch windows. Uh, we were without central heating for the best part of four months. Um, which meant we couldn't really heat our house. We had all the kind of the cracks because we couldn't heat our house to a constant temperature. Um, 25% of our home um, was unpainted. I drew up a spreadsheet and sent that across to the site manager who basically laughed in my face and told me I was imagining things only for his gaffer to come round and basically agree with all the points that we had. However, today I'm going to show you a upgraded kitchen um, that we paid just nearly £4,000 for. And while that not may seem like a lot of money, we paid nearly, again, a quarter of a million pounds um, for our household here um, by Persimmon. Um, and for seven months now, we've been complaining about our kitchen. I'll take you through some of the things that you can possibly expect if you ever buy a house in the Castle Gardens Estate, um, made by Persimmon and the kitchens installed by Symphony Kitchens. So here we go. Um, we've reported many of the items um, on our kitchen, as I stated, on numerous occasions. And what we've had is a lot of contractors come in and basically tell us that they can't install the kitchen cupboards and cabinets flush with the walls because the walls aren't flush which means that you have base units top and bottom that don't sit flush with the actual sides of the cabinet. As you can see, it's flush out here and it tapers into an angle where you can actually nearly get your thumbnail or fingernail on the top up there as well. Um, on the central front of the oven hob, you can see perhaps that it runs nice and flush and smooth and tapers down and there's a considerable gap at the side where there isn't an actual gap at that side whatsoever. When the oven is turned on or the grill is turned on, the side of this unit here actually bulges out, which leads me to believe that the oven and the grill haven't been installed correctly. Now, potentially, I think this is a fire hazard, and it's something that we've notified for some of now on several occasions, and they have just let us down. And Ian at Symphony Kitchen, so if you ever watch this, I hope that you get sales reprimanded for this because you have neglected your customers. Despite your promises, you have failed to attend the premises now on three occasions and you've left us with an oven and a grill that potentially is a fire hazard. Because of this unit in particular not being installed correctly, you can see that the cupboard door on the bottom of it tapers off from the right to the left hand section. So much so, you can get a finger in so nearly three quarters of the distance and your finger becomes jammed. As you can see, there's actually a very visible gap that tapers up from left to right. Now this door in particular here has been adjusted now on probably three or four, maybe five occasions. And each item that I've got outstanding with Symphony Kitchens has now got a little bit of black tape uh, to map the extending, extending issues that they have. So basically at the moment we have a cupboard door right next to it as well. As you can see, the first one probably hangs in about 10 mils. The second one probably hangs down a good 10 to 15, possibly 20 mil at the same point as well. Um, now, just over five weeks ago, we had installers come in to repair and overhaul our kitchen. Um, and these base units down here, which can fit, fit your thumbnail into, are peeling. Now in no shape or form is this particular cupboard door um, in the way of any gas hob etc that might cause that to crack. Certainly this is the exact same kitchen that has been installed within the show home, the Lismore 2, on the Persimmon site at Castle Gardens. 
Um, so basically what the guy's done is they took off the base units and the top units as you can see this door tapers down at an angle and becomes gradually wider down towards the bottom and they took them out to the van glued them up and reinstalled them top and bottom now there are approximately eight units like this throughout the course of the kitchen unbeknownst to themselves i had marked the bottom of these units in marker pen they professed them to be brand new um, however you can see down here as well that the quality just isn't there there's like a the, 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 the wood or the MDF coming through underneath that section there it's it's just absolutely appalling quality the same again on these cupboards over here the installer when he was last in um, told us there hadn't been a part installed on this kitchen cabinet door now as you can see it tapers in flush from the very bottom there's a gap comes up towards the top and I've actually cut myself on that on quite a few occasions um, and the base unit along the top here isn't flush and it protrudes out now for we've been in this house it'll be eight months and um, next month eight months of arguments yes there's been a pandemic in place um, but again I'm just gonna say we paid a quarter of a million pounds for this home to have and four thousand and odd pound for an upgraded kitchen which is is splitting um i'm just growing very tired of the whole situation it bulges out doesn't meet the base unit it comes down it's it's flush at the bottom and um, the worrying thing for me is that when you have contractors in your house the likes of symphony kitchens openly state that this is what persimmon give them to work with that they can't install the kitchens because of the quality of workmanship persimmon have carried out look at the split here it is next to a hob again it's been marked they took it out to the van they glued it and they put it back in same again here um this is all starting to split they claim it's a brand new unit would you accept that in your house i'm going to be honest and i'll say look Council house kitchens are installed better than this, yeah? It's it's contaminated with paint. When the guys came in to reinstall the cupboard doors um, on the base units, which they said they had replaced, they got it all marked with glue. Um, it's obviously an industrial glue. We tried the likes of elbow grease, etc., to try and get it off. It hasn't taken off any staining. You, you can't really see it, but I'll show you a better example of that. that down the line as well and here you've basically got the handles again we've covered them all by black tape if you're cooking etc and you reach for a pot you reach for a pan you've got a little bit of something on your hands grease it stains it and takes off the enamel off the handle now we've tried baby oil on it and we've tried soft industrial cleaners as well hasn't removed any of the marks look at these splits and in the fridge door, Symphony Kitchens refused to actually look at it in any shape or form. They said it's not their responsibility. They installed it. And look at that. It's absolutely shocking. This is what you have to live with when you buy a Symphony Kitchen. I've got about a minute left on this before I get cut off. But here we go again. The glue marks. The cupboard doors. It's burst open at the side. They haven't come back to repair that yet. The cupboards are not flush. This is the gas boiler door. It's basically the gas boiler overlaps the base unit. Uh, I mean, is that a health and safety concern? I, mean, I expect to not be able to wake up the next again morning because the gas boiler has combusted. I don't know, but certainly I wouldn't accept it if I'd bought a new car. I wouldn't accept it if I had bought a new whatever, um, really, to be honest with you. Symphony Kitchens, even at Symphony Kitchens, you should be appalled with yourself. Absolutely appalled that someone quality checked this. In this kitchen alone, you have an excess of 25 to 30 faults. You've been warned, you've been advised, you've been texted, you've been sent the videos prior, you've been emailed, you've been emailed on at least Oh, 20 plus occasions since December of last year. This is what Persimmon give you as an upgraded kitchen. Look at the nick of it. It's absolutely shocking. Absolutely shocking. I'm not going to lie. I have seen council house kitchens that are better installed. And believe me, guys, this is only half. This is only half of the actual results 
that went wrong with our house. We had 150 plus in total. The bank paid them, we paid them, this is what we got. 